There we go. There we go. Okay. Fix that. My bad. Damn, I'm I'm wait a minute. I'm trying to think now. Did I shoot the entire show yesterday on 360p? Okay. All right, whatever. Okay, let's get let's get back to um Don't say that, Cassie. Don't say that, Cassie. <laughs> All right, well, okay, let's 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 restart. Then she says, "I know you did for a fact." Rage quit. Pat is in the house. He says, "Putting in the work at the uh, putting in work at the gym while watching." What's up? What's good, my guy? Frost Fang is in here. We got Saint. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, because I gotta pull him up. I got uh, uh, Sanguine from YouTube. Just it's on a Rumble. Shouts out to you. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Man, that's funny because it didn't look like that when I was editing it. Whatever. Um, okay, so let's let's recalibrate. Disney is reportedly considering delaying the Captain Marvel sequel. Let's pretend like we didn't even. Let's pretend as though we like we started from the top. As hype steadily begins to build for the Marvels. The hotly anticipated Marvel Cinematic Universe sequel may be postponed. Hotly anticipated? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Ain't nobody anticipating this dang old movie but the Twitter freaks. And that ain't enough of them. So uh, per Bloomberg, insiders who are reportedly familiar with Disney's release schedule, stated that the company is looking at pushing back several 2023 releases due to the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild. America Foundation of Television and Radio Artists Strike. The primary reason behind the alleged delay is the inability for performers and creative teams to promote their films per the union's request. Despite these claims, others have suggested that the Marvels may still make its November 10th release date given that the marketing for the film has already progressed beyond the point of delay disney and marvel studios have yet to address this report at the time of writing so so your excuse is that you're trying to delay it due to the writer strike why the fuck you lying why you always lying you're trying to delay it because it's garbage uh, Sanguine says, um, they're ex freaks now. <laughs> nah, like, listen, I, I, I thought you were excited for that movie. Who excited for what movie? I'm excited to roast it. Nah, <laughs> I'm excited to drop videos on it, but, um, but yeah, though, uh, there's no hype behind this movie. And, and as far as them delaying it, if you're going to delay it, like Cassie said earlier, you need to delay it indefinitely indefinitely i mean like it's it's just this movie's development cycle has been absolutely ridiculous how many times has this movie been delayed about three maybe four times it was supposed to come because the original came out in 2018 this thing was supposed to come out in 2021 if i'm not mistaken it got delayed then it got delayed a couple more times he says you got open. Frostman says that's the sound of journals giving Disney a handy. Nah, for real. I mean, they they can't cope with the fact. I mean, like, listen. Not only just that, right? What about this article here? Hold on, where is it? 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 Hold on, hold on. I don't see it anymore. Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> the Marvels destroys the weirdest Carol Danvers uh, MCU criticism for good. Come on, bro. Uh, uh, Rage Quit says you got opening day tickets. <laughs> Never, bro. 
Never. Cult Classic K says, nah, you're a Captain Marvel fanboy. Actually, there's some truth to that. Before Brie Larson got cast. I, I actually liked the character. I, I was one of the few people who actually liked the character before uh, the whole Brie Larson drama started. But this person says, what, what does they say? The trailer for the Marvels confronts and destroys a frequent criticism of Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, in the MCU. Some say that Carol Danvers came off, comes off as a cold and aloof. She comes off as cold and aloof or that actress Brie Larson acts like a robot who displays no emotions. These complaints are completely refuted by one of the major storylines already confirmed by the Marvel's trailer. The Marvel's trailer reviews many th reveals many things about the upcoming movie. Chief among them is how Captain Marvel, Photon, and Mrs. Marvel became connected through their powers, blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's get to the, to the part. The trailer for the Marvels confirms that uh, Flurk and Goose, who was introduced in the first Captain Marvel movie, has remained in Carol Danvers' care during the three decades since the, she left Earth. More, Goose has many Flurk and kittens, whom Carol is also caring for when she is not protecting the galaxy. This subtly shows that Carol, while putting on a brave face as Captain Marvel, also has a softer, nurturing side, which indulges in private, which she indulges in in private. While Carol may play it cool on the field, she has enough of a heart to open herself up to the love of a pet and said pet's children. What? What the fuck? So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. A character, we're talking about a protagonist that's supposed to be a hero. An actual hero. So she has all of this power, right? She has all of this power. Uh, um, San Sanguine says Captain Marvel would be better if they fired Brie and gave her the black suit with the thigh boots. Possibly. But, but she has all of this power. She left Earth for three decades, ladies and gentlemen. She wasn't there during Ultron. She wasn't there during Loki. She wasn't there. Uh, um, who else was a a a big time threat? Uh, she was there for Thanos. I'm trying to think of who else was a big time threat. I don't know. I can't think right now. But she wasn't there. The entire time she's out in space. You mean to tell me that her relationship with cats is her human moment? That's what that's what kills the criticism. Let and let's let's pretend let's pretend we take that right. We accept that right. Oh, she has a heart now because she's taking care of kittens. The criticism was from the first movie. So so what? Now that she's now that she's molesting a few cats, we're supposed to say, oh well, she had great personality and and a heart throughout the whole first movie, huh? No. She was garbage. No emotions. We're talking about a, a, an alleged hero who got angry that a man asked her to smile, decided to beat him up and take his uh, bike. This is a hero? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You can't make this up. You can't, you can't make it up. Uh... If they delay this movie, they need to go on to delay it uh, uh, indefinitely. And, and nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. Okay? Just, just get rid of it. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Beat that thing down like you started attention, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the like Dracula's mansion, my baby.